Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we looked how we can add some simple tests to validate our status code, uh, status code string, header, uh, response time, etc. Right. So these were the four tests which we added for a GET request. Now using the test snippets, which are also available in Postman. Okay. Now we are going to look at some other test snippets. For that, let me pick up some other requests like the get all repositories, okay? So, uh, I'm going to um, add another test snippet. Now let's see what we are going to validate in this, okay? So, if you look at the body, there are different kind of uh, nodes which are present here right now uh, on a normal request right or whatever values you provide in your request body you expect the same to be present in your response right so if i'm creating a repository with a particular name i, I expect it to remain same when it is coming as a response right so the repository name should remain same um, the private parameter i pass it as false so that should remain same. Um, this was the login information, right? So it was using a token from my um, from a user. So it is giving me this login name, which is QS Script 20. So I want to validate that, right? So the different kinds of validations which you can perform on a response body, and that that is part of your functional testing, right? So you are making some functional validations on your API. Um, where whereas previously we were doing some status checks and uh, some performance test with respect to response time but this is a functional validation test okay so how you can do that now there are different code snippets which are available uh, within uh, postman which you can use so one of them is the json value check okay so once you click on it it will add this code snippet so what it does it checks any value from your json body right so this is this is the basic functionality of this test now let's see uh, what it actually have right so it has got a variable json data right which stores the complete response body in the form of a json javascript object right so get the response body as a javascript object so it, it will throw an error if the response is not a valid json right so since our response body is in the form of json we would convert it into a javascript object and we would store it in this variable so once it is stored in that variable then we can easily use that object to get different kind of information which is available in the json body Right, so that's the purpose of using a variable. Now the next is we are using pm.expect, right? So it's a assertion method, and what it is asserting it is is asserting some value which is present inside this JSON data or the body to be equal to the act the expected value, right? So what whatever we are performing, okay? So what what we are going to validate? We are, we are going to validate this name value. So this is our value. So let's put it on the equal thing, right? So API test. Now, what we are validating against the name, right? So JSON data dot name. That is how you can validate the name value inside your JSON body. Okay. So it's a kind of uh, you can say json path of your this particular value so json data dot name okay so looking at this test this should pass so let's before we execute let's change this name right so this is the description or test name you can say so what we can do here is we will see we'll check check repository name okay so this is our test name now let's send this and you expect it to pass but you will notice the test has failed right so what's the error it is saying expected undefined to deeply equal api test right so api test is the value 
but the expected value is undefined so it is not able to grab that value from the body okay so let's see why it is but first you need to understand the json bomb response body right so you need to understand how the json format is structured so it is in the form of key value pairs and then each key can also have different key value pairs within that so there is a hierarchy or a tree of key value pairs right now you need to uh, you need to traverse on this tree in order to get to a particular node right so if you want to get into this name node you need to traverse this particular body now if it would have a single element this test would have worked but in this case this is not a single element and that i can say by looking at this starting bracket which is a square bracket which means it is an array of elements right so there is not a single element there are multiple elements right so once this curly braces ends so another element will actually start right which which is nothing but another reposit right so this, this is the end of one element and then this is the start of another element which is another repository with different name so if you directly give a json data dot name it cannot identify which element you are referring to so you need to specify which array element you need to access right so in my case i want to access the first element which has got this name so i would say instead of json data i will use a array index here which is the 0th index it signifies the first element so that is what i am pass, passing right so let's send this request and this time around you will see the test has passed okay so that's it. that is how you can access different array elements using the index okay now the next thing i need to verify is um, i want to verify this login name right so let's use this test again i'm just showing you different examples of how you can validate different things right so since this id or um, this login right this is inside the owner key right so this will remain same json, JSON data dot zero but then this will change okay so what it will be it will be dot owner and then dot login right so owner dot login dot two equals so what it will be qa script 20. okay so this is the how you traverse through a json body response body right in order to get to that particular node so let's check this out and both the tests have passed right so probably i would have changed this uh, let's make it check username or login name right so this is our second test now um, I need to um, till now we have seen how we go into a particular node and validate that specific node right but say for example there is a scenario where I don't know where that particular node is right uh, or that ma might be anywhere I don't really care about where is that particular node i just want to check whether that particular thing is present or this value is present in the response body be it anywhere on the response body so how you can do that you can use uh, something called response body contains string right so there is some string which is present in the body but it could be anywhere so We'll be using this uh, pm dot response dot text right and then to include so we are in kind of checking whether it is present on the body so what we want to test we want to test this so it could be anywhere on the body it is just telling us to check whether it is included in the response text or not right
okay so the third test has also passed now uh, body matches the string so which is telling me that this string is present in our body right so this way you can validate any random value and you don't need to pass the path the json path of that particular value you can just tell pm.response.txt and then to include your value which you want to validate on your response body right so these are um, the three different tests which you can perform on your body using the code snippets which are available now i want to show you a common problem if on your api request and how to resolve that right so so let's see a different api request which is create repository okay now as you can see um so we know that uh, the hello world repository is already present in this github account right so if i give this body with the same name is it going to create another repository well your guess is uh, pretty right right so it is not going to create another repository with the same name right so it is going to give this status unprocessable entity right and in the message uh, repository creation failed name already exists on this account right so this is a common problem across any api right a resource cannot be created with the same details right so if i keep some kind of test for this particular api request or i keep this api request in my collection this api request is probably going to fail the second third time right it will pass on the first time but it will fail on the remaining times because the data is static right but we need to make this dynamic so in the next video i'm going to show you how you can use dynamic variables in postman to handle this kind of scenario where you need to uh, get dynamic values for your body parameters or any environment variable which you want to add right so before that if you have any comments or feedback regarding this video please leave it um, please respond to this video and i will get back to you also if you like this video please uh, um, like and share along and i would also re request you to join our channel or subscribe to it basically you can get access to different uh, videos on different automation tools right so till now we have selenium jenkins maven postman and then we'll be adding more videos in the coming days so i recommend you to subscribe to our channel qs script so that you don't miss out on any new videos on different automation tools which you can use for learning purpose so join me in my next video uh, where we'll be learning more about postman techniques uh, and features till then have a good day